we zeroed in uh, out on the range today, running the loads from yesterday, and we're going to go out to 500, so 2.4 up. All right, here we go. <laughs> I've got a handful of brass, Steve, and I want to run your projects. Yep. Done a little bit of pra uh, work with them on powder, but yep. we want to we want to focus on seeding depth because that's where you are saying is the first place to go. So, what, so right. primarily, the first thing we need uh, is a spent case. Yep. Um, without uh, any primers in at all. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a projector, and we need your rifle, and we need your bolt. We can do all of these things. So we need a pin punch and a small hammer. Maybe how to accommodate. So that's done. Keep that in a safe place. Now Hold that. <laughs> okay, if we can uh, got a small pair of pliers, we can remove that without damaging it. Small. Excellent. This goes with that at Suzanne's. Did he just call you Suzanne? Apparently my name is Suzanne now. So you're, you're basically jamming into the land at the moment, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And he's going to keep seeding it until he feels it not jamming into the land anymore. Or just mildly. So what are you uh, seeing there? I haven't got enough purchase here. Once it passes the first band, yep. it's not biting on the shank. So I'm getting variation there. That needs to be managed. Mm -hmm. Right, you can just see that first millimetre or two. You can see that little faint line. That's just enough purchase. Much more better, as my English teacher used to say. <laughs> Looks much more better. Yeah. So you're, you're getting it far enough up the. Yep. yep. See, what was happening before, um, I didn't have enough tension here, and when it gets past the band, mm -hmm. it still needs to be able to grab the neck and still have. It's a little undersized. Uh, uh, but it needs to have enough grip to hold it mm. without, stop, without preventing uh, movement. Yep. better. You can just you see the marker there? Yeah. It's engaged. Now we've got our reference marker mm -hmm. for deduction of uh, deduction of uh, jump. Yeah. So if we're going to use that as a measurement and work back. And work back from there. So yep. 75.38. 75.38 millimetres is what yep. we are aiming for. Yep. We're currently on 75.65. Yep. I work in inches. Lots of them. All the inches. Are you lots of friends? Yeah. <laughs> Hang out with all your mates. Yeah. 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 What, what is it? 75. 75.38 is what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there was quite a lot in there. <laughs> Might have gone too far. That's all right. So we can do the same. Have you got uh, a bullet puller? Right there. Right. I've got Thank that you. one or the cam lock, but we can go with that one. Okay. Come on, the timber if you need. Yeah. So can what you put that sound over it when it pops out? Need this way more. can do that rather than my hit. Okay. Come on, the timber if you need. Um, so we've basically got to start again. But at least we know what dimension we're aiming for. Yeah. Well, yeah. we've got a number, yeah. Excellent. Now we're making the headway. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> that will do. But that is now your reference round. That's it. I'm going to draw it a different colour so I don't put it in the gum. And then... Who would do that? Who would do that and then have a 30 second uh, timeout because uh, during a match. Sorry. There is one other thing that we should do, and that is... <laughs> Speak of the devil. Oh, it's got a colour though. Yeah. Make sure it fits in the magazine. Woohoo! That's going to be tight. Well, that's we alright. We might have no choice but to have some more jumpage. You might have to, you might have to come in another. Mm. 74.38 is your reference, oh. and there it is.
and that will and that will now dance up and down the. There you go. go. That looks better. But now that we've got that reference, yep, we can go right now. We can calculate the case capacity based on the, um, the a full length sized piece of brass with a dead primer and the H2O in it. We do that for, with five different pieces of brass and get an average. Yep. We're going to weigh the brass empty dry. Yep. And then we're going to weigh it full of water. Case one weighs 172.2. Now we're going to oh, get a funnel so that we can fill full of water. Case one now weighs. 223.4. See how it's got them over yep. the top? Yep. It's got to get taken off. Yep. And that is now level. Yep. We measure that. 223.5. So yep. case number two is actually our lightest one. Right, so now we need to deduct uh, the dry weight from the wet weight. Yep. And then add them all up and then average them out. It's actually my favorite thing to do. That's not what I heard. <laughs> the reason... How do you get an average? I don't know. This is fancy dancy math here. Yeah. I'm homeschooled. I don't know how to figure out averages. <laughs> Surprising you can talk to other people. <laughs> yeah. We're doing it by far. So the average is 223.3. Which sounds right. Yep. So, and, and we've got to deduct the average dry weight. 223.3 take 172.1 is 51.2. We now have a working case capacity at 51.2 grains of H2O. And that's yep. as accurate as you need. All right, so we, uh, we've got all our data that Steve has graciously uh, sourced for us. And we are then going to go down to Taylor's place. And tomorrow, we load and we shoot. Mm. Let's see if we can get this thing humming with some OEPs. Right, Steve? Yeah, indeed. So we, we've got our uh, cartridge overall length, which yep. is 74.38 millimetres. We've got our case capacity of 51.2 uh, grains of H2O. Mm -hmm. We now have our parameters. We can start working it out. Fantastic. Shake them back, baby. Shake them back. See you there. <laughs> that, that fills me with confidence, gentlemen. <laughs> 30, 87. Had to feel shit, mate. Like a, like a gun. 30, 84. 30, 90. 30, 102. That's achieved two things right now. Yep. Test your mag feeding. Personally, if it was me, I'd experiment with a little bit more jump purely for magazine feeding. So I'm a bit further away from the front of that. That's just be something I'd be curious to try. So the speed is four. 31. 31.05. He didn't get a speed on the first one. 31.25. BSSDs? 11.4 and 17. Okay, so the first load was actually pretty close. Yep. The new SSDs, so the only thing to pop about with there now is we take it to a 60 jump. So there is more. So you're saying we're going to go 60 tower jump and we're going to do 60 tower jump with both? 45.3 and 45.5. Yep. And whichever one does the things is the one we go Is with. the one that we. Uh, Shoot at 500 meters of the club tomorrow. Start off with the point threes. Lower charge. How are they looking that mag? 
Bit more wiggle room? Yep. You reckon you're going to be able to see the target alright? You can see it from here. I'm glad you can see it from here because that's where we're shooting it from. Yeah, so it works out well. They're better for speed. Yeah, let's run with that. So there, you got a standard deviation of 6.4, extreme spread of 5 plus 9, 14. That is, that's that, that's extreme right. spread of 14, standard deviation of 6.4. I'd be shooting that in a national match any day of the week. Yeah. And one of the group, uh, one of the shots I called, but the rest I think were not bad. Within my skill set. Okay, you're 45.5. Yep. At, at basically 3100. Yep. With this temperature, that makes sense. Let's do it. Done. We zeroed in uh, out on the range today. Running the loads from yesterday, and we're going to go out to 500, so 2.4 up. Alright, here we go. Yep. Just to hit on the right edge. Elevation is, uh, is sensational. Yep, on, on to the next target. Shoot the well, keep moving down. Again, wind's right down right at the moment. Next target down. Yeah, we're on, on the smallest one, 500. We can get it. And we're on, all five targets, 500. Happy with the slide. I just, I don't know, maybe we've done something incorrect. Yeah, you've pulled the trigger, mate. Yeah. <laughs> not going to argue with that. Taylor will be shooting the next. Oh, no. In the darkness. <laughs>